everyone, welcome to another episode of Dolly Designs. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, which isn't a project I would normally be doing, but since it's going to be kind of involved, I thought we could make a whole video on it. So we're going to be decorating these um, fake nails. They came with um, the acrylic filler that Shelly bought to fix my Ann doll's neck. I just bought a brand new set and I was actually going to throw out the nails like I usually do. And then I thought, well, I wanted, so if I remember right, Shelly's Bratz Totally Polished Dolls came with like tiny fake nails. Yeah, little stick-on ones. And um, for like kids. And of course those are long gone because we don't always keep stuff like that. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have like, if I had fake nails or nail polish or something, to put in the totally polished line photo because I've been retaking a lot of the old line photos and it dawned on me, wait, instead of throwing these away, like we actually had these on top of the trash can at some point, I was like, wait a minute, I can paint these. So we don't have um, like actual nail polish because we don't paint our nails, but we are going to decorate these using a variety of supplies, which I will show you. So I have a variety of acrylic paints. These are all of mine. Um, this is right out of my cube organizer. I just pulled it out. Um, and then in this little compartment thing, this top part is just pencils and like artsy stuff. Over here you can see that I have a whole bag of glitter that we can use. Then I have um, Mod Podge, it's actually Elmer's glue in here, that uh, we can use to apply the glitter. We have paint brushes, Sharpies. I do have some like Crayola washable markers, but most of them are pretty old and they're not very pigmented anymore. And also because they're washable, they wipe off easy and on the like acrylic nails, I don't see them lasting. And then uh, water. And then I do have some clear nail polish that we can coat over everything afterwards. And we'll probably save these for future photo props. But um, if that doesn't work, I also have different like regular sealers for art projects to use. And usually something I do anytime I make stuff for my dolls is I like to have the dolls out as muses. Um, so I have all my totally polished dolls out on the table. And that way we can kind of look at them and admire them and come up with ideas. Jade's will be like um, really cool with like oh, silvery know. glittery designs. and. Um, I was picturing like Sasha and Chloe's outfits the most, but Yaz's is like really pretty to offer too. So these are the nails. There's some that are white and some that are clear. I know right off the bat that I want to do um, some that are zebra striped because there's some stripes like that on some of the doll's clothing. Oh my god, we were thinking the same thing. I was thinking like uh, black and purple, like polka dot animal print yeah. with maybe yellow mixed in. I'm gonna um, use Sharpie for this. It's gonna be a pretty simple design. Do you have black acrylic? I do. I think these white ones are great if you're doing like partial color jobs. Yeah, that's why I'm um... What is that? I think I'm doing like so a So I didn't have to paint white? Yeah. Because they have a perfect like opacity. So I'm sure these paints are really old, so I'm like shaking them before I... Yeah, some of them I've had since like middle school. I'm pretty sure I used most of those, but... You no, know, it's kind of in between those two colors. You can add it like a bit. Yeah, I like a draw. And um, we're doing this on cardboard. This is actually leftover pieces from making backdrops. And I just found when I was making stands that these held their shape really well and the newsprint didn't come off on what I was working. Colleen and I used to make stuff for our dolls all the time. We used to spend hours cutting out like um, food, remember from magazines? Yes. Like I made some backdrops that kind of reminded me of our childhood where I just cut out a bunch of food because we used to use them for our uh, clone dolls and also for um, our like paper dolls, we would give them all kinds of accessories. Imagine if we knew how to laminate stuff back then. I know, we had like a thousand laminate cardboard accessories. Oh, I love that. That does look like Megan's shirt. I, uh, also we found, um, we have these old like uh, paper school books Shelly made for our dolls and we were kids that we, like, I found in our thing.
So I tried to put the clear nail polish over um, these two ones I did with Sharpie. And as I thought, it kind of streaked the Sharpie. So um, I brought out for our Sharpie ones this regular like gloss varnish that we can use that won't pull up the Sharpie. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. has decided it likes Pepsi and it's just hanging out on calling soda can. I don't know if you can see it, but he's like moving his little legs and he was cleaning his antennae a minute ago. <laughs> and I'm not sure if he's like drinking up the sugar on the rim of the can or if he's having a dance party. Hands are really clean because I washed them really good, so I'm putting these guys back. And uh, Miss Topro are the nails I made, and this bottom row are the nails calling made. Honestly, some of mine are really fugly, but um, the rainbow one, this spotted one, these two that got smeared, and this one were all just Sharpie. And then this one and the silver one were paint. And then obviously these were glitter. Then I decided to put stickers on some of them, and then I tried beads and sequins, but they're kind of an epic fail. And then you can see Colleen also used um, some Sharpie and some stickers and a lot of glitter. And I did uh, seal them, like I said, if they had Sharpie with this. And then all the other ones I sealed with this clear nail polish. It worked out pretty well um, sealing them. It was a little difficult, the ones with glitter especially, if they weren't fully dry, but I found that the Sharpie worked better on the nails that came white rather than on the clear. I felt like um, it was more pigmented. And this is what the photo is set up to be, and you can see there's little fingernails we painted scattered all around. And they kind of blend in really cool with this background, which I made from a calendar. I accidentally kind of picked this backdrop because I was using the other side for um, uh, costume, costume bash. bash. But yeah, I think that uh, these fake nails kind of add a little bit of dimension. So we'll save them in the future for maybe if we have other nail type dolls. We hope you guys enjoyed this crafty sort of video. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.